All right, so black women that deal with uh, white men, I will tell you right now, 95% of black women do not find white men attractive. I'm talking about the average white man that they see. Obviously, there are going to be black women who are into their black man. They love black man. They will never deal with white man. Yeah, never deal with white man. But they will see a white man like Brad Pitt and say, oh, he's lovely. Or like my mom, she don't like white man. Nothing like that. But my mom will say, yeah, back in the day, Sean Connery. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh, all the black girl, them, they all love Sean Connery back in the day. But that's just like one in a million. Averagely, your average, your 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 prototypical black woman that you walk past in the street, whether she's from Barbados or fucking Benin, yeah, whether she's from Jamaica or fucking Congo, your average black woman does not like white man. They don't find white man attractive. Ninety-five percent of black women do not find white men attractive. Now, obviously, even out of those black women that don't find white men attractive, they will look and see and say, "Oh, okay, yeah." Uh, uh, Brad Pitt's good looking, Sean Connery's good looking. Yeah, so let's just establish that 95% of black women do not like black men. 95% uh, uh, of black women do not like white men. Obviously, even the ones that are into their black men, they will never date outside their race. They'll see a white man like Brad Pitt or, or, or Sean Connery and say, yeah, he's good looking. I'll bang him, whatever. That's just one in a million, yeah? Those are one in a million guys. There are five, there is like a 5% of black women who actually do go and really find a uh, black man and um, a white man attractive. And those are usually the black girls that grew up in white areas, Bromley, Enfield, Essex. Yeah. Usually black girls from the hood. I'm telling you right now, most of them do not like white man. And if they do go out of a white guy, he's like a fucking black man on the inside as well. If they do find a, 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 a white guy, he's like a black man on the inside. He's one of them white man. All his friends are black. He's probably in a gang. He probably has a goatee, yeah, where his fucking moustache is connected to his beard. He's one of them type of man, yeah? He probably, probably, probably buns weed and listens to Wu-Tang. Probably into martial arts. So you know them type of white man there? They're like black man on the inside. They bun weed and listen to Wu-Tang and they like Kung Fu. Them type of, them type of white man there, innit? Yeah, come on, AY. <laughs> That's a big out of 5%, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, 95% of black women, they do not like white men. Man. They might look and observe, oh, oh, um, uh, Loki from uh, The Only Way is S. Oh, he's good looking. I would have some of him. They, they'll even talk like they're white as well. <laughs> oh, Brad Pitt. Oh, he's lovely. Yeah, oh, yeah, Sean Connery, oh, back in the day, oh, oh, oh. But other than that, unless he's famous or whatever, most black women, they would not go near a white man. They nothing, nothing against them, but they just, white men don't have that kind of swag like that, that, that the average black woman is, 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 is into. Yeah. But when you see a black woman going out of a white man, I'm telling you 100% it's because she's given up on these playboys, fuckboy, whatever you want to call them. Man, she's sick and tired of them. She's sick and tired of them. Now, because this is what happens. Women go through a stage where they want an alpha male. They want a bad boy. Yeah? They want an alpha male. They want a bad boy. And this is why I like to give analogies from school. Because in school, there, was not, there wasn't much of an influence from the outside world. And... The important things in life didn't matter. So everyone was just loose and ratchet. People just do what they want, yeah? If, what I go on, so, whether you're black or white watching this right now, no matter your, your skin color, yeah? Press one if you went to a school where there was quite a lot of black boys in the school. Cause, cause I did, yeah? So press one if you went to a school where there was a lot of black men in the, in the year group, yeah? At least 20 black guys in your year group. Press one. Right, so Benji saying, 
Right, A-Y saying, yeah? Well, all right, cool. Ask yourself, in that year group, even if it was only 20 black guys, as long as, as, long as they're man there from, like, London, yeah? So that means that they, yeah, they're, 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 they're that way inclined. Yeah, they ain't some fucking meeks, yeah, from Northampton or Milton Keynes or somewhere. Them man there, yeah? In that year group, out of everyone in the year group, white man, black man, Asian man, Chinese man, who got the most girls in the year group? I'm telling you, it would have been the black boys. Yeah? Now, when I say who got the most girls in the year group and it's the black boys, when I'm referring to the girls, I don't mean the black, I mean out of all the girls. Because in my school, blah, we had black girls, we had like one or two Asian girls, we had a lot of Greek girls and Turkish girls, like Cypriot, Greek and Turkish Cypriot. We had white people, obviously, and we had black people. Yeah. Us, man, we were we were cleaning up. We were cleaning up. Yeah. But even, even the Turkish girls and the Greek girls, they weren't even really interested in their own. They just wanted our bad boys. They wanted the bad boys. That's why when you go to schools, Think back when you was in school. Who was the man then that used to get the most girls? It was the black youths. So long as there was enough, if there was like one black guy, then I don't know. But if there was like a bunch of black boys in that year group and they parred and they were like that, they were like, yeah, they, yeah, them man, they were on that energy. They would have got the girls, 110%. 110%. I meet girls, I know girls who are fucking Vietnamese and they tell me, oh, back in the day, I used to only deal with black boys. But now that she's 20, she's in university and she, she's got her head screwed on. Now she's with a Vietnamese guy because now she wants to settle down. She wants, she, she, she cares about what's important in life. I'm telling you right now, yeah, if she could find a black guy who was on that same energy to settle down and that, but she'll be with a black guy. Come on. Bro, you see, listen, black babies that have black in them, like mixed race babies are the most beautiful babies. And obviously me as well. Obviously, I like one that. Yeah, oh, I'm black in it. Yeah, but yeah, I'll put myself in that category. Listen, all of them, all of them. Let, let me say something. All them white girls, all them, all them white girls, all them Chinese girls, and that. Yeah, who are from the urban community and that. But they all want little mixed race babies. I'm telling you, all of them. They all want little mixed race babies. They all want mixed race babies. The, the mixed race babies are the cutest babies. They're the cutest babies. But unfortunately, that's the thing. That them man there, yeah, they want that energy, but they're too much on that side. So they can't provide the girl with no stability. Yeah, I don't think the girl really cares about, oh, what mum and dad's going to think. Girls are emotional. They don't, yeah, they, they hear what their parents are saying, but unless their parents are really going to disown them, they would, they would go for a black guy. But they can't find a black guy who... He's on. He's got that bad boy swag, but it's still, you know, uh, legit. If she could find a guy, a black boy, who's on that that energy and is legit, but she'll 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 pair up with him. But unfortunately, them man they're too on that, too much on that energy, or they can't come across a guy who who, who who's got who's um who's on both sides. So who, who who's got both qualities? He's on that energy, but he's still legit. Yeah, like they, they said they want a corporate thug or whatever. <laughs> they said looking for a bitch child with green or blue eyes. So 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 this is what happens. So when girls are young, they're in an alpha male stage, whatever. Especially the so so all girls are in the alpha male stage at some point when they're young, yeah. But the black girls they usually stay on that energy for a very long time. The white girls or the non-black girls, so the Asian girls, come blood. Listen, I man, no Asian girls, yeah. Back in the day, they only mess around with black men. But again, when I say Asian, I mean like Indian, Mauritius, yeah, them type of Asian girl. They only rap with black men, but they can't find black men that have got the relationship qualities. So they have to go to their own. But then they usually end up running the fucking relationship because he's a neek. Usually, usually. Now, don't get it twisted. Them girls, they step out, you know. 
I know a lot of people like to think, oh, 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 they, they, um, they, you know, they, 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 they don't like step out or whatever, you know, the virtuous woman. No, 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 fuck that bullshit, man. They do, trust me. Trust me, they do. So anyway, so these girls, they, when they, when they're young, they will go through an album, say, like when they're in school and that, and when they get to college and that, when they start pushing to university and then things need to get serious, the, the non-black girls, they go and find themselves one of their own or whatever. The black girls, they still stay on that energy where they're really, and that's why, unfortunately, some of them, a lot of them become baby mums or whatever, isn't it? because they just can't, they can't break out of that, of that alpha male type of, yeah? You get what I'm saying? Like, they can't break out of that, whatever, really. they can't put logic over emotion, whereas the other women, they, they, they're slightly able to put uh, the logic over the emotion and say, okay, boom. You know, how am I going to raise a family with a guy that's not around? They don't want to be a, a single mom. Like, that's, that, that brings shame upon certain families, certain cultures and that. A single woman raising a child? That brings shame upon certain people, certain certain cultures and that. Black people are just used to it. The, the, the women don't, 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 don't give a fuck. <laughs> the, women, the black women, they don't give a fuck. Yeah, they'll be like, boy, I, I'll take that risk. I need that bad boy in my life. Literally. Literally, yeah, I need that bad boy in my life. So the non-black girls, they stay on that energy. Um, the non-black girls, they go and find themselves someone from their race. Vietnamese guy, white guy, Asian guy, whatever. White, uh, white boy, whatever. The black girls, they stay on that energy. Bad boy this, bad boy that. But what happens is there comes a time where they want to get onto the same energy as those other girls when they well, when they became a bit wiser and got themselves a decent guy, but they're too old now, or, or it's in the later stages. It's in the later stages, yeah, when they're like 35, 40. After they got a kid. Yeah, after they got a youth. So what happens is they go and find themselves some little neaky guy. And unfortunately, usually, he turns out to be a white guy. That's the truth. Telling you right now, you see any, you see, listen, let me tell you something right now, yeah? Any of you black people watching this right now, yeah? Whether you're a black woman or a black man, yeah? If you've got family members who obviously are black and they're with a, 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 a if you've got female family members who are black and they're with a white guy, just ask them one day, right? Or if you might even know this, yeah? What types of men they used to deal with back in the day? Because that, there, there's a few black women in my family and people have told me back in the day that, that she was like a fucking yardie. Yeah, oh, yeah, turn up in the rave. She would never be with this particular man that she's with right now. And he's a white man. But what happens is they get tired of the game. They get tired of this and they can't find the guy who's got that. He's on that energy, but he's still legit. So that's why they go and find us as a white man. And they end up controlling that guy. They end up controlling that guy. Cause he ain't got that energy to make them submissive. He ain't, them, he ain't the kind of guy that say, listen, if you ain't following my program, get the fuck out of my house. That's what they need. They need that type of guy, but they can't find that. More, a lot of white men are not on that energy. Well, a lot of men in general aren't anyway, but a lot of the white men, they, they ain't on that energy. Yeah, they, can't, they ain't got the balls to tell a girl, boy, if you're not following my program, get the fuck out of my house. That's what girls need. They need a guy that will put them in their place. They need a guy that's going to have them under, under submission. Every, every, every girl wants a bad boy. Even like, 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 um, hey, while on this, let me ask my sister when she grows up. My little sister, she's nine years old. I was saying this to my friends on, on my birthday. My friend phoned me on my birthday. He's like, yo, happy birthday. And I'm like, I'm on the estate. I'm at my mum's yard. He's like, ah, yeah, come, come check me afterwards, innit? Yeah, cool. Standing out on the estate. And I say to him, blood, all women, they like, all women, they go through a stage where they like a bad man. Mm -hmm. I was like, even my little sister. I told my mum, mum, Nene, she's going to, one day she's going to be with a bad boy. Yeah. 
it's the inevitable. Now when I say a bad boy, I don't mean you don't mean don't mean you have to be a gunman or a fucking drug dealer in it, but I just mean a man that's on that energy. This that's just the way it goes. I know white woman, white woman being married to a white man for 10 years plus with a white man for 10 years plus married broke up with him and then fucked six black men back to back because women go through that stage where they're like women, women go in and out of those stages that are oh, i want a serious relationship so they want to they want to look all neat to push around and in that relationship she was the boss as well they, they want a guy that they can push around or whatever, or they, they sorry, they settle for a guy that they, they, they can push around, boom, settle for a guy that they can push around. And then when they when they come out of that stage, oh, all bets are off. Then they were there, they strictly, strictly the black man, but they don't settle down with them man more time. But back to back, yeah, back to back. A woman, a woman, a white woman was with a man, a white man, a white woman was with a white man for 10 years straight, broke up with him and then fucked six black men back to back within a year. She went back to that school stage where all she wanted was a bad boy. Literally, she went back in time. Literally. 10 years, you know. Six. Because that's what she was lusted for the whole time. Now, there's some women, some women, some women, they won't cheat, maybe. You know, some women, even if they're with a beta male, a neek, whatever, some women are like, you know what, I ain't going to do it. But the moment they get out, boy, 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 let me tell you, fam. Let me tell you, boy. All bets are off. Yeah. All better. So, listen, should be walking down the road listening to Thotiana Blueface, yeah? Literally. Yeah? Literally. Yeah? She'll be like, I'm free. Why you think why you think all these uni students? But prime example, all these uni students. Yeah? I made that video, fam, talking about exposing the uni students and what they're really on. Why you think these uni students, the boys and the girls? They 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 go uh, they go to university outside of London. Like, bro, you're from London, yeah? Why the fuck are you going to university in North Northampton for? Why are you going to Coventry or Leicester or DMU? Those are mediocre universities. What the fuck are you going there for? Like, when I say why are you going there, why are you leaving London to go and stay on campus? These are places that are fucking Timbuktu, blood. These are mediocre universities. Now, if you went to the University of Manchester or Birmingham or York, yeah, that's cool. Those are in the Russell group. You need to be of a certain caliber to get into those universities. That's cool. But if you, how, how dare you leave London to go to Northampton or Leicester or Coventry or DMU? These are just mediocre universities. 90% of them are, 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 are going to these mediocre universities so that they got their freedom to do what they want. Literally, and for most of them, boys and girls, it means fighting their ass around, literally. You're from London, why are you going to a mediocre university up, up in the middle of nowhere? Blood, you got, if you wanna to go to, you got London Met, yeah? You got London South Bank, yeah? You got University of West London, you got all these unis around London, why don't you just go there? Why you wanna get yourself in fucking student debt? Because they want to fall around. They want to fall around. Oh, I got cousins in my family who told me before they went to uni, I want to I wanna live the uni life. I want to rave it down. So what she's saying is she just wants to go around and fuck around. Now, I don't mean sleep around. It just means they just want to fuck around. They just want to piss around. Hey, they use the I word. What's the I word? I want my independence. But go get a fucking job, man. About you on your independence. You know, cook your own food, do your own washing. That's your independence. You're paying your you're paying your parents them money. Yeah, that's your independence. But yes, yeah, so so you're saying freedom away from your parents, yeah. All right, let me just address one thing right now. Like I always like to talk about people, young people or anyone staying at home with their parents to save money so that they can buy a property. There's certain people, oh, I don't get along with my mum. I don't get along with my mum. Right. 
if you work Monday to Friday, let's say, for example, you don't have any overtime opportunities. So you work from nine to five or eight to six, whatever. You get home around six, seven o'clock in the afternoon, in the night. You eat your dinner and you go to the gym. When you go to the gym, eat your dinner. You get back in the house, it's about nine or 10 o'clock. You have something that you're pursuing on the side, maybe a YouTube channel, maybe you're writing a book. I don't know. Something that you're doing on the side. Next thing you know, it's time to go to sleep. You do that Monday to Friday, and then on Saturday and Sunday, you're out with your friends, enjoying yourself. All right, I know it's COVID, lockdown, whatever, but let's say a, a couple of years ago, let's say in a couple of years' time. Saturday and Sunday, you're out with your friends, enjoying yourself, you're going to the gym, you're pursuing whatever you're pursuing for that one hour in the night or two hours in the night after work. You will not have time to be getting uh, on your parents' stems nerves. Yeah, If you're a member of a club, you go taekwondo, you're a member of a swimming club, you play netball and stuff. How are you going to have time to be getting on the, your parents' nerves? They will tell you, I ain't seen you. Literally, when I was when I was working at that job in, in, in Holborn uh, for four and a half months, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. I was on the job. So I was leaving my house at like 6.50 or something like that. Certain time and after I run for the train, leaving my house at six fifty. <laughs> Talk about running for the train. There were certain times I left so I left so late. I used to leave my house and I just started running. Literally, a man would just started running, you know, because I need to catch this train. If I didn't catch that train, I'll be late. And I was a supervisor, so I have to be at work on time. So from six fifty, call it seven o'clock. I was out of the house and not back in the house till about nine. Yeah, an hour there, hour back. I would eat my dinner. Brush my teeth, wash my face, get in my bed, get up and do the same thing. I was doing that Monday to Sunday. My mom hardly saw me, literally. There was times if my mom did not come downstairs, my mom would not see me. Because my mom's in bed from nine o'clock. And I'm up before she gets up. And if I really wanted to, I could get out of the house before she gets up or whatever to take my sister to school. Now, usually I would catch a glimpse of her in the morning because as... As, as I'm leaving the house, you might be getting up to make breakfast. Huh? But anyway, I didn't even see her. So therefore, I didn't have no opportunity to get uh, get my mum's blasted nerves. Because I was busy. So you young people right now, or anyone, no matter how young you are, you'd be 35 years old. You know, oh, I'm getting along with my parents and stuff. You're too available to get a lot, to, to be getting pissed off with your parents or your parents getting pissed off with you. Just like the boy of them on the streets. You're, you're in a position where you get stopped and searched all the time. That means you're too available. Again, if you was following that same routine, working nine hours, I know everyone can't work 12 hours. We should be working 12 hours a day. We should be putting in around about 60 hours a week, you know. If you're working your nine hours or your 12 hours a day, Monday to Friday, and then after work, again, you go into the gym, whatever pursuing some kind of hobby or something like that same thing on the weekend enjoying yourself with your friends doing positive activity not bunny weed on your fucking estate if you're doing something positive but you ain't gonna have time to be getting caught by the police but if you're on your ends chilling with the man them even if you're not doing nothing wrong yeah guys it is an unfair world that we live in tough yeah maybe black people do get stopped more than white people Tough. Play the fucking game, fam. I'm a black man. I know that sometimes if I'm walking on my estate, if I see police drive past, I know they might want to pull me over because there's men on my estate coming on my estate, trapping, and they might think I'm one of them. Now, obviously, I don't blame the police for it. I blame them for, obviously, um, I, I blame the man them for giving me that, that like, you know, because I look like them, you know, I'm black, I dress a certain way. They're giving me that reputation that, oh, because I look similar to them, I might be a drug dealer or whatever. I don't feel like I should have to walk down the street in a fucking suit to not be labelled as a fucking drug dealer or whatever. But play the fucking game. If I know that the police are coming on my estate all the time looking for drug dealers, I'm not going to be standing on my estate because I'm going to get picked up by the police. Same thing. You, if you're not getting along with your parents, and you're getting stopped and searched by the police all the time, it's because you're too available.